Hey guys, I'm gonna show you how to properly take off kinesiology tape. Although it might be funny to rip it off and see your friend in pain, Ow. it's not really the most ideal way of taking it off. One thing I tell people to do is to always take it off when your skin is dry. So I'm gonna put two pieces of tape on me, one on my left arm and then the other on my right. Now the left arm is going to stay dry while the one on my right is gonna get wet. Why I didn't use a smaller piece of tape is beyond me. So the reason why you should be taking it off when it's dry is because your skin is actually stronger and more stable to, you know, for any sort of like tug and pull. Whereas when your skin is wet, the elasticity actually becomes greater, which means your skin starts to stretch a little bit more. And when you're pulling while your skin is wet, you can just imagine your skin is pulling a little bit further, which could cause more pain. Now, another reason why you shouldn't be yanking it off is because you can potentially hurt yourself and cause tiny little abrasions on your skin. Now, if you have very sensitive skin, you could actually cause more damage. So this is going to be the wet arm. To answer one of the most common questions about kinesiology tape, yes, it's waterproof. Well, at least better tech tape is. Now, I'll show you the difference. So this is what happens when you take it off dry. See how it easily just comes off when it's wet. Mm, okay. See how much my skin sticks to it? And there you go.